Hi, Gemini. This is your reading for uh, <laughs> for December 2022. I'm going to be looking into uh, what else needs to be known and seen for the rest of the month for you. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else does Gemini need to know and be aware of for December 2022? What else does Gemini? Too. All right, so then I'm going to come back in a new year and do different spreads and uh, do different types of interpretations for the readings, okay, in January. All right, let's see. Okay, Gemini, so you have the three of virtue underneath, all right? Um, you can be dealing with fire sign energies, uh, but this, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, the three of wands typically denotes um, collaborations, uh, like work, creative work ventures with groups of people, all right? That's why this energy is underneath, okay? But um, I do feel this energy also, like something that's maybe a little bit distasteful for you in this in the group setting to be particular uh it could be i'm also getting this idea of workplace behavior <laughs> so that could be co-workers or you like someone's going on with your workplace behavior or someone else's okay all right or multiple people i don't know it could be good or bad it just depends on how you look at it okay <clears throat> The starting point has a 10 of oppression. Okay, so the 10 of oppression is like the 10 of wands. All right, something that may be a little bit of a burned burden uh, to start off with uh, here. Okay, so it could also be, I always forget to look at the numerological aspect as well. So the 10 could be related to December 10th, which already passed. Um, it could be... Uh, What's another situation? It could be January 10th. It just depends on the energy that's coming through. But the Ten of Wands kind of comes through. Uh, it kind of comes through as a heavy load as well. So it is Wands, similar to the Three of Wands, where they're in the workplace environment. You may be taking on like a bit of a load. Uh, it could be because somebody left your workplace. Um, it could be someone left a relationship. Uh, or I get temporarily when I said a relationship. So if you're dating someone or you're married or whatever type of relationship that you have, uh, if it's not work related, someone could have left temporarily. If you have a partner and you may have to take on a lot of responsibility, all right, Tem temporarily or permanently, it could be a fire sign energy that you have or had as a partner and something may be difficult, whether that's work related or love related, that that's coming through okay what you're waiting on is the fool all right so the fool could be an aries that you're waiting for that's why i said fire sign but it doesn't have to be an aries um if it's not only an aries then it's the fool could be like a venture that you're waiting to take all right um but i feel like not until a project is done that you'll be able to do something specific with this energy all right so for example say you want to fly somewhere you can't really take vacation time until you get some type of project done at work is the energy that i'm getting or um um what's another situation that's going on here on um, like it could be like dispute related i'm kind of getting that feeling like a dispute could have taken place in the workplace and like it uh some type of dispute it could be between other co-workers it could be between you and a supervisor or higher up in an organization or job and there's a dispute that you need to defuse that's why this energy is here too you're being called to do it. It just depends on what's going on. Um, I'm being drawn to a Libra as I'm talking about that. So there could be... I get a foreseeable matter. <laughs> There's a foreseeable matter that that may, be, that may take place between you and a Libra. To be specific with this. So it could be dispute related. Um, I also get angst with that. So there could be angst going on with you and a Libra particularly. Or it could be Aries. But an Aries element, I feel like you're going towards, if it's not just travel, or you're just waiting to do this, but you need to resolve something with a Libra or whatever other fire sign before you can do this, <laughs> okay? Whatever the situation is here. The present has a three of cups. 
All right, so the Three of Cups could be some type of celebration-like energy that you may experience. The Three could be uh, March of next year. Um, something may be important about March 2023. Okay, like you may be able to do, like you may be able to go away in March of 2023 with the Three of Cups in the Fool. Okay, but I'm getting this idea not with someone. So, not with someone. So if you did have some like a fire sign energy that's a partner, they don't have to be a fire sign, could be whatever zodiac sign, but if you did have plans to do something specific with a like love partner, some type of partner, you you can't do it with them or you won't be able to do something particular with them for some reason. But I'm being drawn to a workload. So it's either your workload or that your love partner's workload. That's why the Ten of Wands is there with the Three of Cups in the present. Okay. But the Three of Cups is also here because of small trips that you may be able to take with friends or family. That's why it's there in the present too. Small trips with friends or family. So if the Fool is here because you may want to do something long term. But you can't do something long term until something heavier is resolved. Is what is the feeling that I'm getting. Three of Cups in the present. If it's not anything like that, then the Three of Cups could also mean workplace gossip is what I'm getting. Like some type of gossip that may be, may be surrounding you. Um, I'm being drawn to a co-worker when I said that. So you may be experiencing, like the, you're, you may have a co-worker that is gossiping about you. I don't know if you're gossiping with a co-worker. That could be a scenario, Right. That could be a scenario. So the signs that I was getting, it could be a Libra. Like I was getting Libra. This is also this is water sign. Um, and then you have Aries here, whatever fire sign element that is uh, showing through. There's some type of gossip. Uh, somebody could be gossiping about your love relationship between you and like I mean that could be love or work it related to Libra. Um, I also get Leo related to Libra. Leo, you have Aries here. Or this is just travel, whatever the situation is, okay? One, two, three, four. You have the Princess of Sword energies in the future. And then the Instincts has uh, the Lovers, which is your energy. So you could be dealing with another Gemini. You may have another Gemini energy in your mix, right? That's what a Princess of Sword energy could be a, another Gemini female. Um, uh, Libra. Uh, Aquarian, whatever their sign, whatever the sign. I know Libra was coming through strongly before. So the lovers and the instincts, it could be your relationship that you do have with a Libra, right? But I feel like that individual, if it's a Libra, may need some type of time off from an environment. That could be why the Ten of Wands is there too. So the, Li the Libra, whatever air sign, the uh, whatever other air sign, that energy needing time off, it, it may take away it may take away from for it may take away from some type of time that you need to take off if that makes any sense okay and I'm also getting this idea that someone is also not upfront about something so that could be you um, it could be another Gemini it could be an Aries whatever that's coming from that is coming from someone else that one is not upfront 100% about something with you. And it's kind of giving me the idea of a love feeling that someone has. Some type of love feeling that someone isn't being upfront about. So that could be you to another Gemini, vice versa. That could be you to a Libra, vice versa. Or an Aries. Right? Something going on there. That's interesting. The accomplishment has the Princess of Disc, the kindergarten teacher. Uh, so the Princess of Disc could be... Could be another, could be an earth sign energy that you have in your space or you had or have in your space, right? That this individual may or may not be somewhere anymore with you, but you could have been attracted to this person is the kind of energy that I'm getting. Like they could be in your age group, they could be younger, whatever it is, right? This individual is or was highly skilled, but the Ten of Wands is next to them because they may not be in an environment with you anymore. They may not be in an environment with you. That's why the Ten of Wands is next to them. 
here as them being the accomplishment right but what's interesting if this person is not a, if this person was or is not a co-worker then they could have been a love interest or they could have been a co-worker that they could have been someone that you work with that they became a love interest to you or you kind of you formulated some type of attraction towards this individual but they are no longer somewhere with you with the ten of wands or the fact that you do have some type of feeling like that towards them is is kind of a burden because of the environment that you were that you were in with them vice versa which is interesting but I get secret so they they may have secrets or what I just explained that you have that feeling is a secret to them if that makes any sense okay and that's why the ten of wands is next to them the knight of sword energy is in your spiritual self uh, that you could be embodying, uh, embodying or you could be dealing with another air sign element that's a man so um, I did say Libra, but it doesn't have to be a Libra man. It could be a Libra woman. Um, it could be like a, a, you could be embodying this or you could be dealing with another air sign, male or female, that they're in your spiritual self, right? But I get wisdom seeking. So this could be you and you're seeking wisdom from a situ about a situation or about a person, a scenario. You could be seeking wisdom or this individual you may be seeking wisdom from if they're external from you whether it's a man or a woman you may be seeking wisdom from or you're traveling to seek wisdom from it could be vice versa mm. you know what I'm getting I get that um, I'm actually hearing something interesting he knows a lot about her or she knows a lot about him. I'm getting that kind of scenario. Like this could be someone that uh, I get you don't really know. This individual may be someone that you don't really know. Or there's something or you may know them, but there's something about them that isn't like you may know them, but there's something about them particular that you may not know. Or that may resonate, that may be how you feel about the Princess of Disc. But because you're interacting with an external Knight of Sword, there's something that they may know about a Princess of Disc, or that's vice versa. Or the Princess of Disc knows something about a Knight of Swords that you you were not given information about. So that could be a vice versa thing. Or you could be embodying this and someone that you're interacting with knows something about you. That's secretive. That's always getting an idea of secret. So there's a secret surrounding them, or there's a secret secret surrounding them, or it's you, and there's a secret surrounding you that somebody knows that you don't know how they know. <laughs> something like that. You know? Something like that. Hmm. But it's it's in your spiritual self. That means that whatever whatever is known or unknown, it means that you may need to figure it out. That's why it's in the intangible space. Interesting. The Ace of Wands is in the, what is this? That's your instincts, your mentality. So the Ace of Wands could mean that, you know, typically when you see the Ace of Wands, it, you know, it's a staff. So it, it's, there's a, there's a new creative beginning that you may want to have either with, with another Gemini or another air sign. <laughs> Excuse me, another Gemini or another air sign. Libra, Aquarius, man, woman, man or woman. There's a creative venture that you want to start with them. That's why the lovers is here and with this, with the ace. So there's something new that you want to begin with someone. Something new. Whereas you, this, you kind of want to reinitiate something that you had, something that you initiated with this person may be, they may not be anymore, or you may want to reinitiate. Um, but you're doing that with with someone new. You may be doing that with someone new or something like that. Another Gemini, an, an air sign, another air sign. Right? Hmm. What's changing is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is changing, which means that you could have embodied Knight of Cups energy with someone. But it's changing. Um, 
like you you either initiating something is changing emotion something emotional that you initiated is changing because the person either is not in the space anymore or they went in a different direction or that was that someone was coming towards you with I get changed their mind. Someone was coming towards you like this, but they changed their mind. Could have been a water sign. It could have been a water sign, male or female. That's why the cups is here in the pre in the present also. That's why I was getting workplace gossip and um, things of that nature or relation family gossip it could be whatever the scenario is. Friend gossip, like they changed their mind, right? And I'm getting Libras when I said that. So a, a Libra could have been coming towards you with some type of offer and they change their mind or vice versa Libra man or woman <sighs> Libra man or woman hmm interesting so there's a few scenarios here is what I'm feeling if you were dealing if you're dealing with a Libra like the Libra was coming through a lot if the Knight of Swords energy was a Libra and they left a situation that's why the fool is next to them they could have left a situation but I, I don't understand why so they left the situation but for some reason you don't understand why but the ten of wands next to the princess of this could have been I get one reason why that was one reason why that was that was one reason why so the princess of this could have been in an, in an environment with you in a night and another knight of sword but the Ten of Wands is next to them because that could be why um, the air sign male in your space left the situation. But that's one reason. That could be one reason. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. The resolution has the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands could be is in the resolution with the princess of sorts so that could be you embodying that or you're dealing with another air sign male or female that they're in the future so um whatever it is that's happening now you you're with them so whether that be a gemini a libra an aquarian you're with that individual now right but i'm also feeling new people with the four of wands so new people could be like new lovers, new people could be new workplace, new workplace people, new team members, whatever the setting is with the ace of wands and the lovers and, and the new partnerships and things of that nature. Hmm. But something is also frustrating about a love scenario that you initiated yourself into either it's a love feeling that you had with someone or a thought or or you had it with this individual there's a few different air signs here there's air sign men and women here then you have like an air sign that's embodying a knight of cups that they kind of change or it could be a water sign male or female but somebody changed their their idea about coming towards you for anything for, for whatever the reason what for whatever the reason is okay for whatever the reason all right let me do an outcome here gemini okay let's see the outcome i felt inclined to do seven the six of pentacles so yeah the six of pentacles and the king of pentacles so the six of pentacles and the king of pentacles can mean that you like you may you may want to give money to someone right you may want to give money to someone that that you i get cut ties with you may want to give money to someone that you cut ties with that could be why this is here or you may want to be charitable to someone that you cut ties with it is, it's connected to the earth sign energy, the princess of this, whether that's, whether that's male, this is, well, this would be like a male and that's a female. So it's earth sign, men, men or women that you want to, I get reinitiate. You may want to reinitiate something with, right? So there may be an apology attached to that. Um, there may be money. They may, there may literally be tangible money attached to that. It just depends on what's going on. You 
what I'm getting to. I get don't like the new people. Like someone's going with not liking new people somewhere. Like you don't like it could be it sounds like a work environment. Like you may not you may end up not liking a new person that is somewhere or you don't like the new people. Like with the four of wands I was getting new person, new people, and it could be dating related. It could be love and dating related too. You don't like the person. You don't, but the princess of swords is in the future. I don't know. Something's going on there. And whatever wherever this is taking place. Could be like a you know, whatever it is. Wherever it is. It feels like work. It feels like like a work environment where people leaving, people are coming, you're not really, you know, you're not really feeling someone particular that is new somewhere. And it could be a princess of disc. I don't know. You weren't, you weren't, you don't really feel, I don't know, something like that. Ten of Wands was ne is next to them. Hmm. Or someone is new, princess of sword, swords, <laughs> sorry, I keep saying sword, but princess of air energy is new. One of them, or however many of them, or somebody that's embodying that, is new in an environment. It could be a new dating option, a new coworker, a new housemate, whatever. That something about them you may not really, you know, you may not know too much about. I don't know. Something like that. All right. All right, Gemini. Let me know how it resonates. Be well. Take care. Bye.